RadicalPrep.com Okay, this question says, in the xy coordinate plane, line t passes through the point 3, 5. If the equation of the line perpendicular to line t is y equals negative 3 halves x plus 2, what is the equation of line t? And I'd say the word that jumps out to me, or the first thing you should really pay attention to, is this line perpendicular. So what do we know about perpendicular lines? Okay, so one of the things you should know is that when they intersect, their intersection actually forms 90 degree angles or right angles. Two, their slopes are very important. They have what's called negative, hopefully you're saying this to yourselves at home, negative reciprocal slopes. And what the heck does that mean? Well, we've got this equation here and it tells you that the one perpendicular to line T has a slope of negative three halves. Well, that means that line T is actually going to have a slope of, flip it, positive two thirds. I'm going to take away the negative sign. Um, and this should kind of make sense because even if our picture right here that we're looking at, one of the lines is positive and the other one is negative. This one could be two thirds, this one could be negative three halves. So it's, it, it kind of makes sense. So now how are we going to use that information to help us get the answer? Well, Already we know the slope of line T is two-thirds. If we're rushed for time on test day, I would just start eliminating any of these that don't have a slope of two-thirds. And, and there we go, we eliminated three choices already, so now we have a 50-50 guess. So to finally get the problem right, I'm actually going to use this information and plug in to y equals mx plus b. And remember, this is your equation of a line. m is the slope, and what is b? should say the y-intercept. So to get the information here, let me just plug in. We've got 2 thirds x plus b. We've got this point that they gave us and we're actually going to use that information and we're going to plug in that point into this equation. So we've got x is the 3 value, or 3 is the x value, 5 is the y value. So let's just plug in. x we said was 3 plus b. Cross out the 3's. We've got 5 equals 2 plus b, and uh, we'll minus the 2's, even though at this point you might just say to yourself, yeah, I know that b is equal to 3. Okay, so now we have b equals 3, and the only one left with that y-intercept is choice c. And you are done. The main thing, though, just know that when you have perpendicular lines, you're going to think negative reciprocal slopes. So if I told you I had a slope of 4 fifths, what's a line that's perpendicular to it? What would the slope be? Hopefully you say negative five-fourths. And if you want to practice some more, you can definitely visit my website, and that is www.radicalprep.com.